So this is the plan. I'm gonna jump over here, up this, and then on the back side of that little cliff face you see right here, this is gonna go on the back side of that, and that's where that makeshift shelter was. I wanna go check that out a little bit. That stuff always interests me. Uh, we found stuff like that before, and I'll tell you, we found some uh, strange things inside the shelter, so we'll go see if, it's, uh, if there's anything interesting. Well, this is what I stumbled onto. Uh, it looks like it was a pretty serious structure at one point and meant for, I don't know, staying there a long time. I gotta get this pack off. <laughs> this hike is, uh, it's been a good one. Very rugged country. Very beautiful country. Oh. Oh. Whew. Yeah, it's been, it's pretty interesting. Let me get up, get all this stuff off here for a minute and uh, I'll show you around. Makes you wonder how old this thing is. Uh, you can kind of see the rope's been rubbing in the tree a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's been too bad. Uh, guessing this may have been a door. And the reason I say it looks like it was meant long term is it looks like they've got some you know maybe a stove inside where they're piping out the the smoke also they've got all the plastic to seal the the walls and ceiling you can see it's obviously collapsed so there's a little more of the stove possibly there's some type of grate or something right there this was interesting. This was uh, maybe 100 yards from where I spent the night. Oh, looks like there's an arrow. I stumbled onto this in the morning, so I didn't get a good chance to look at it because I wanted to get where I wanted to be for the uh, catch some deer on film. There's a piece of gear down in there. I might try and dig that out just to see what it is. I'm curious. Probably full of body parts. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. I wonder what it looked like in its prime. And I wonder what it was made for in its prime. My mind is always... Uh, oh, I don't know. Marijuana grow site or something like that. That's kind of... My mindset. The funny thing is, is when you get up here, hunting season. It's funny how it, all the news. And all of a sudden, you start hitting all these, hearing all these uh, hunters finding these grow sites, because the hunters are the ones that typically get out and do a lot of the bushwhacking, get off the trails, and get off in these weird areas where hikers in general normally don't do that. Pretty cool. I like coming across this stuff. I'm gonna explore it a bit more here. I did get the green bag out, and it is a 9x7 wedge dome tent by Lake Country. Interesting. But as I pulled it out, guess what else I found? It's like a camel bag or something in there. There's probably somebody dead in there. <laughs> That's not funny. Why am I laughing? Uh, yeah, it's interesting. Now it looks like you know they left it here for storage. Inside this, it's actually wrapped in a in a garbage bag. Uh, I'm curious to see what that is. See if I can't get that too. Oh, the curiosity killed the cat, huh? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what it's in there. Wonder if this is some type of I don't know bug out location, or if someone just came up and said, you know, it'd be really cool to make a a shelter up there and and have it as a you know place to go camp and hang out in the woods don't know well I'll see if I can get can't get that bag out and see what it is you spend enough time outdoors and you see some pretty weird things this this isn't too weird uh, I did get that camel bag out that's a stuff sack for a sleeping bag and then that right in there that's just the sleeping pad uh, 
looks like there's, you know, they've been eating some food. I don't know if you can see that down in there. Uh, some MREs down there. Looks like some beef sticks. And there's some water left up here. Uh, what I'll do is I'm actually going to take this guy's gear, whoever it is, I'm going to stuff it right back in there. To leave it here for them and help protect it a little bit. I don't know if it's a normal guy or some weird whacked out guy. Uh, I did meet a guy up in these mountains actually when I was in high school. Or was it high school or right out of high school? No, it was high school. And uh, very strange. Anyway, he thought he was God, Jesus Christ, and Merlin the Magician. I think I can pretty much stop there. That sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> this type of guy, his uh, his personality. Uh, maybe. Oh, you know what? I have that filmed as a ram random ramblings over a year ago, and I haven't released it. I've just kind of held on to it for whatever reason. Maybe I'll release it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is kind of fun. It's interesting to run into stuff like this, you know, when you're out and about. Uh, kind of fun that way. Or we'll continue on. I think what I'm going to do right now is hang out for a little bit. I just need to relax and. Soak all this in, you know? But man, I'll tell you. It's been a fun trip. Topped off with... Topped off with uh, finding this guy's little shelter here. <laughs>